Hello ladies and gentlemen, Rick here from ProSlidePacks.com. There were some folks that were saying that they could not get my, uh, my video slide to stop anymore and pause. If you, if you notice there, there are two pauses, right? Where it comes out and it stops. Normally we're used to seeing it, but then what I did was I added one more and honestly i didn't change the slide template i just went over here to swf uh, the slide is loaded and when the slide loads you'll see this swf tab uh, for those that don't know vfs files the slide files they're actually swf files renamed and formatted in a particular fashion so that it works with uh, Explainio, which Explainio is an Adobe Air application, just for the technophobes out there who want to know what's going on. So if you look over here, you can see that the whole slide is 129 frames. So it's 129 frames coming out there, doing this. It stops there. It's stopping at frame 60 for 61 frames, and it's stopping at frame 96, which is this one right here, for another 60 frames. Then it goes on. If there were any other opportunities in this slide to stop it, because once it gets past this point, it's moving off the screen. So there's really no reason to delay it further. But if you wanted that frame to stop for a longer period of time when it comes out to the first position, you can add some time there. It stops there and it's counting off 83 frames. And then now it's turning again. Now it's here for this 60 frames. Now it moves. So let me add a few more here. Now this is stopping here for 83 frames. Okay, and then it's gonna pause again here for another 80 frames, and then it's going to move. See, so, and if you notice, uh, you can stop this video if you didn't catch it, but pause it at frame 60. Now this is where it normally pauses anyway in EVC1. But now you have five points where you can stop. So what I did was I used this the standard one. I know it's 60 frames because that's where all the uh, the templates are set by default. But then I timed out where my monitor turns, and so at frame 96 is the frame prior to it turning. Because see, if I go to frame 97, you'll see it jump. Okay, there's 60 standing there for 83 frames. Then watch what happens when you try to go to the next one. See that little jump? That's because on frame 97 is when the move starts. So let me go back to frame 96. Okay, there's frame 60 for the 83 frame pause. Now it's gonna turn to frame 96. See, it stops there, it didn't move. Now it takes off. So that, I just basically wanted to show you how that is working here. And this works for a lot of other things. So um, you might wanna check it out if you have the characters that you can bring in and the one like points up points and points you can have it point stop right there you can even move it across the screen flip it have it point in the other direction and then uh, flip that and have it you know but you have to time that out with the slide animation and everything else if you know when your actions are happening here it makes it easier for it to happen in the slide animation because the slide animation is basically an accumulation of the frames that make up the animation of that particular item so if you have a character that's a hundred frames for the total animation and at 30 and 60 and 90 it points then 30 60 90 and then you can put a delay in there and you're good to go okay so one more time for this one then i'm out and i got another one coming at you Okay, 96 stops for 80 frames. Then bye-bye.